The first thing you'll notice about drawings in this latest update is the superior quality line work. Solid lines have better anti-aliasing, are a little thinner than before, and stay consistent when zooming in and out. This makes complex drawings easier to read. Also new in drawings is an updated drawing sheets flyout. Now all the views on all the sheets are also listed. The name of each view tells you the model orientation and name of the assembly, part or part studio that was used to create the view. As each view is selected it is highlighted on screen. Right clicking a view in the list lets you adjust its properties. To switch sheets double click the name of the sheet. You can also switch sheets by double clicking a view name or right clicking and selecting switch to sheet. This will switch the sheet and highlight the view at the same time. The icons and position of each view in the list makes it easy to navigate your drawing and understand the relationships between each view. For example, this section view is a child of the main view, and these two sections are children of this projected view. By right clicking a sheet you can rename it, change its properties, delete it or move it up or down the sheet list. You can also move a sheet by dragging. Views can also be dragged from one sheet to another, so you don't have to go to the Views property dialog. Views that have been moved to another sheet sport an icon with an arrow. Hovering over the view will display a tooltip with the sheet name and the name of the parent view. You can insert a new sheet using the icon in the top right corner of the flyout, which will insert the new sheet after the currently open sheet. Finally, dimensions no longer have a grip point on the dimension text. You can now drag anywhere within the highlighted text area to move dimensions around, making this process much easier.